Hi, my name is Jennifer, and I'm one of the counselors on staff here at Focus on the Family Canada. Every day, we have people calling in for prayer, guidance, and to feel less alone in their struggles. We offer a free, one-time phone counseling consultation to anyone who asks. And aside from counseling, we can also provide them with additional resources like articles, broadcasts, book recommendations, and we can refer them to a professional Christian counselor in their areas needed. The reasons people call our counseling team varies greatly. They call about family and marriage challenges, and also for relationship issues or mental health concerns like depression or anxiety. Today, we're going to be talking about depression. Even though depression has been described as the common cold of mental health, sometimes people who call us don't recognize that they're experiencing depression. They may be calling for another issue, but over the course of our counseling session, we realize there's more going on under the surface. Chances are very high that you have gone through depression yourself at some time in your life, whether it was diagnosed or not, or that you have a loved one, a spouse, child, parent, friend, coworker who has experienced depression. Although depression is common, people can experience it in vastly different ways. It can come on suddenly, be very intense, and lead to suicidal thoughts. It can also be sneakier, slowly coming, slowly invading, and changing over time the way a person thinks, feels, and believes until they're a smaller or even unrecognizable version of themselves. Depression does not discriminate based on gender, age, ethnicity, socioeconomic background, or religious beliefs. It's been said that anyone could find themselves experiencing depression if they experience sufficient stressors in sufficient intensity. In this video series, I'm going to explain common symptoms of depression, as well as different types of treatment. I'm also going to discuss two case studies where we can see how depression has impacted two people in different ways. Hearing stories of what depression can look like in different people and how they can be helped can open our eyes to see it in ourselves or in those around us. My hope is also that by talking about it here, we can destigmatize the experience of depression and also learn a bit about what recovery and healing can look like. As we begin, please know that the case studies I will be sharing are not actual callers to focus on the Family Canada. Every caller can trust that their conversation with us remains confidential and private. The stories I'm going to share are fictionalized characters based on a compilation of different client stories that I have heard over many years of counseling. 